So this is the self-development with tactics. Book. So this one's gonna be about, and the, f <laughs> the intro is already, uh, <laughs> intro is already just completely shit. So yeah, and this one's gonna be again about, uh, well, seals and how seals should think and how leaders should think. So you know what it's gonna be about, I guess. You know, you can just figure out what summary it's gonna be. And more after the intro. So yeah, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the self development with Tactics fucking podcast. It's pretty late, I'm still recording because I want to fucking record. You know, yesterday it's been actually one of the days where I, the, the recordings weren't quite good and therefore you're not just really into the recording stuff then and especially just recording two if you've been recording one and this one is just shitty as fuck and you kind of feel like, well, you know, you gonna miss the other one as well or the other one's gonna shit as well it's not necessarily gonna be the case you know sometimes it is i don't want to say often but sometimes it is actually the case but this episode's gonna be great this episode's gonna be fucking great but yeah i'm pretty sorry if i look a little bit sweaty uh, i've been just working out just because it is fucking healthy and i like it you know most of the time or sometimes i like it um, even though, like, sports and, and physical education and so on and so on, it's just something that really comes natural to me, to be honest. You know, I've always been playing with balls, you know, um, and I've always just been moving and I've never just been sitting around doing nothing. I've never liked it quite. It's pretty natural to me. Um, still, like, working out sometimes isn't, like, the most fun thing I think of doing, but after you've done it, you just feel fucking great. You know, it's just really amazing. And especially then if you do just shit that you not normally do. For me, it would be just running, which is the exact same thing that I was doing today. Because I thought like, you know what? I'm not going to take my bike. I'm going to go running. Uh, and then I met some friends or some, some people I know. And it's been amazing. I've been a little bit of a shitty person uh, in terms of kind of the interaction with them, which is something that I totally regret now. Just because I always want to be the nicest fucking ass person there, there is. But yeah, like, I don't know. I think these just minor and small failures, I don't know. I think you, you shouldn't just cripple yourself from them or, or of them, I guess. So it is like, nah, it is okay, I guess, you know. As long as I'm not the shittiest person in the macro, but not only in the micro, I think it's okay. I guess it is okay. I hope it is okay somehow. Somehow. Uh, another thing, and the window is actually there, which is amazing. Uh, another thing that I'm willing to talk about is the fucking video quality. I hope the video quality now is a little bit better, especially because I have a light above of me. Gonna do it like this as well. I do hope it is a little bit better. Um, with the light and uh, with the setup here right now, I guess I'm gonna do it just always like this, even though the fucking light above me is just so fucking bright. <laughs> it is just so incredibly motherfucking bright that it's just sometimes really hurting in the eyes. Not gonna fucking lie. But I've seen that a lot of videos that I've uploaded then just really get bad quality, even though as I've been recording them, they were quite okay. You know, they weren't great. Like, quality is never great in my channel, <laughs> to be fucking honest. But it was okay, like it totally was okay, it was even good, I would consider. The thing is, I uploaded them and afterwards they just were completely shit. And some of them were actually just pretty great videos. And so I thought like, well, you know, what could be the thing that is actually making them just a piece of shit after I've uploaded them? The thing is, I guess it is the file format, so for all the people that also are just doing something in terms of okay, you know, they're actually doing some... YouTube stuff as well, um, just please consider that you're going to upload in mp4 files, you know, if you're recording something else doesn't matter, but I think at least this is what I think was the problem or is still the problem, therefore I've also changed also the way I've, uh, I'm recording now, I'm now recording in mp4 rather than MOV or MOV. So yeah, maybe you should do this as well if you're just especially um, working with a MacBook or a Mac OS powered computer because, um, yeah, you know, this is the normal file format they have for videos. It seems to be not the best thing for uploading to YouTube. Therefore, just 
consider this, please. Consider this, please, because I do not want you to just fail um, as I did. You know, I still have some of the data and I still have some of the files and I'm just thinking if I should actually re-upload them just because, well, yeah, you know, I did the work and it would just be complete bullshit if I don't re-upload them. But yeah, you know, I think I'll just also especially just focus on doing good stuff now and just trying to get the quality up and up and up and up even though it is not really what matters still if the if the fucking video is 10 by 10 pixels like it is not just a really pleasure to watch them it's really fucking not but yeah but fucking yeah um we are going ahead with the summary i would say um so yeah, and uh, the past three episodes actually, you know, they're already three fucking episodes. We've been going through principle one, two, three, and therefore we're going ahead with principle four, which is do exactly what others won't do. And just to talk about it before, I really love it. I love it. Like I just completely love the same. Like doing things that other people don't do. Because the thing is you'll see that it is often the case that a lot of people kind of don't do certain certain things and therefore they don't have certain things. I think the best, the best example would actually be like, well, rich people, I assume at least. I think the case is that, you know, all these rich people are actually doing something that's the normal, quote-unquote, attention, quote-unquote, normal, people are not doing. Like, whether it be about just working way more or just doing something else. They're just doing something else that we, or just normal people, or people that are not just particularly rich, not do. Yeah, whether it actually will be, as I said, working more, working harder, working just, I don't know, having their own business, just trying to get their own business and whatsoever, or building their own business, actually. I don't know. It's the, the exact same thing with people that are actually just having a great physique, like, of course, of course, they're not going to eat shit all day long. Of course, they're going to work out and do something for their body. Something that the normal guy or the normal girl are not doing. Like, it just makes sense. You know, it just really makes sense. Even though I think it's just something that is really so obvious, first of all. So easy, second of all. But still so obvious. Like, it really is. But yeah, let's actually see what they're saying. Um, you guys are capable of at least 20 times what you think you are. I, I never ever like it when people say, hey guys, or something like this, because I always just kind of feel like, well, they're only talking to the guys, even though like, of course, there are women as well, or girls as well. I don't know. I think the actual case is that by saying, hey, you guys, or hey, guys, whatever, you actually mean also the girls, where you're just also kind of uh, talk to the girls and not only to the boys but the thing is it just sounds like this and sometimes it bores me but yeah so divine truly believes that character is built through hard work if you live a soft life your character will weaken as he explains living a comfortable life isn't as good as it sounds what it really means is that you are trapped in the same situation which is usually usually the fear of suffering it's a natural instinct to avoid anything that may hurt us however divine explains that in doing this but in doing this, we are, we are avoiding living our best life. It's imperative that we understand what our comfort zone is and avoid staying there. This is where Divine's 20x factor comes in. He truly believes that everyone has the ability to do or achieve 20 times more than they think or than they might think. Sticking in your comfort zone is never going to let you figure out exactly what you can do. Which is actually the case. And like, it is really the case like really fucking the case and and i guess i know what i'm talking about like through through throughout three years of, of working out or actually four years just nearly um i guess it is something that you actually notice something that you actually see that okay you gotta have to just step out of your comfort zone to fucking gain the mu fucking muscles even though as you can see i'm not the most muscular 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 man boy whatever I am not, you know, and I could blame my fucking genetics, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, just because, like, of course, you know, nobody has the perfect genetics, you know, some people do have actually pretty good genetics for building muscles, you know, it is what it is, and they're just, well, they can be fucking happy, and for all those people that have not the best genetics to build muscles, complaining about it and just dwelling about it won't make any anything better, it would, it would just make everything worse, like, 
don't do it. Don't do it. Just work out, do your shit, try your best, eat healthy, eat enough protein, eat enough food in general, and then you can see. And or blame and complain or dwell or whatsoever. <laughs> whatever it will then be. But um but like yeah, you know, we all can do way more than, than we think we can do or than we are actually doing, I guess. Because it is actually the case, and I see it as well that People are relatively soft, I have to say. And I think it also comes from having a good economy at the time. Because, like, okay, you know, if the economy is fucking bad, we can't buy shit, you know, just because of pleasure, just because other people are going to view us as cool or great or whatever it will be. Then you do just have to f fucking survive. Like, it is not about, okay, I'm going to buy me a fucking BMW because I like it. It's going to be like, okay, I'm just having my fucked up Toyota that is 10 years old and I'm fucking happy because I can have a fucking car and I have a fucking car and other people can't just have a fucking car because they are fucking too poor. Like, yeah, you know, I think it also comes from such a place, but because I've never been in a bad economy up to this point, you know, just consciously actually, just because like, I think 2008 or 2007, there have been some issues or some, uh, there was, what is it called, a correction? if I remember correctly, which is a drop by 15%, I guess, but I'm not quite sure. I went through it, I went through such a, uh, through such a thumb, the, the, the summary, but yeah, like, yes, like, yes, it is a correction, and, but I, you know, I was 2008, then I was seven years old, like, I'm not gonna think about the fucking economy when I'm seven years old, at least not me. Like, I've been thinking about sports and I've been thinking about playing soccer and whatsoever, but I've not been thinking about just the economy and just earning money and shit like this. Some people have in this age, you know, and it is totally fine. It just really is what, I guess, what you're talented in, you know? This might then be something that you're talented in. If you're just thinking about the economy and making money and whatsoever from a really early stage on, I guess this just has something to say. And, and I was being active, I was just running around doing shit I think this also has something to say, you know, about me, about what I'm good at, about my talents, whatever it will be, it just says something, at least at my point of view, because we can often see it, I guess, you know, those people that have been just doing something from a really early stage on just because it was fun for them is actually just also one of the things that these people are, are able to do just really, really well. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So we all can do 20 times more than we actually think we can. And I believe it is actually the case. Like, I really believe it. Embracing the suck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, there's nothing funny about the word, but it just really sounds so kind of out of nowhere, to be honest. So Divine explains that there is a common phrase among the seals, pain is weakness, living the body. Well, yeah, it is. He explains that using this as a metaphor helps when it comes to understanding why pain induced in training can be transformed into confidence, whether this is physical or mental. By doing something that is painful or scary, you are actually working on building up your confidence and improving your success rate for the next time. Actually the case. Really the fucking case. Also quote, which is something that I subconsciously also think about. I think today I've also been thinking about it. Like, okay, you know, this workout's going to be really painful because I was doing another workout. Um, if you're starting to work out, I would totally suggest you, and I, well, I quite force you, just please do it. Really fucking do it. Just have a plan. You know, in the beginning, you can't really say, okay, if it is a good plan or not, if it makes sense or not. I can't even tell to some degree. To some degree, I can when I'm just seeing some of that just doesn't make any sense, I'm just not gonna do it, and if some, some other exercise just doesn't work for me, just because it's like, okay, well, it is exercise, and it is a great exercise, but it's not working for me, because maybe I do not have the equipment, or just some other things, or it's just painful for me, and it's not a, such a, it is not a pain that is good, but it is rather a pain that is like, okay, I understand that it's not good for my fucking body, then you should also not be doing it, but, just please have a plan. You just have to follow a fucking plan. It is really fucking important. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna think about it just 20, 20 years in, or two years in at least, or even one year in. You're gonna think about this. You're really gonna think about this. You just really need a fucking plan. It is just really fucking important. It fucking is. But I... But, 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 but. I'm gonna just have some juice for my PC. Um, the only downside of having mp4 actually as a file format is that when the uh, file format is broken 
or when the file is actually broken, then it is broken with the movie file or the MOV. I think it actually stands for movie, but I'm not quite sure. And the thing is, once actually my PC shut down because I forgot to, to, to plug it in actually, some really fucked up thing. And I thought like, well, yeah, you know, everything is fucked up now. I can, uh, I can just throw away the whole recording and whatsoever. But it wasn't the case, actually. It was really the case that, well, you know, the whole fucking recording was okay. You know, it was even running. Like, it didn't stop. It didn't fucking stop, which was great. But the thing is, I would just rather have an episode that is good after I'm uploading it than just having a file that is good after my PC shuts down out of nowhere. Like, something that pretty rarely happens. And I'm uploading every single day, so when it happens, ah, not so good. Either going for the other thing. Um, so also called embracing the suck. Divine emphasizes the importance of facing the fear of suffering. Stop avoiding it altogether, otherwise you will never make any progress. Pain, whether physical or mental, is simply a response from your body warning you that you are facing a threat. However, the pain is always only temporary and always results in personal growth. Consider two different scenarios. A tough workout might be physically painful, but it, will, but it will be over in an hour and you'll experience an increase in physical strength. On the other hand, or on the other side of the spectrum, making an extremely difficult phone call might be painful to do mentally, but once it is done, you'll feel a sense of satisfaction and be, pre and be better prepared for the next fucking time. It is really the case. You know, it really is the case. And by the way... Um, the two people that I was interacting with today that I wasn't quite the nicest person to, it was like really like, okay, I was joking around, you know, but the thing is, when I'm joking around, I also feel like, well, it might not be the nicest thing, because then I'm just, <laughs> then I'm just somehow getting like, well, my light, thanks light for dropping down, can I do it like this, yeah, gonna be okay, um, even though I can't fucking see into the camera <laughs> because it is so bright, but I'm bright as well. I'm shining actually because I'm sweating. I'm shining like a fucking meatball. Um, the thing is, you know, when you're choking around and when you're choking like, okay, yeah, just, I'm gonna leave you, you fucking gays or something. Really not funny, by the way. I do not have anything against any gay people. I don't fucking care about that. The thing is, um, like you're just saying it like, just really choking around and like you, you, your ass or something, something like this. I also feel like it is not nice. It is just not nice. And this person that I was interacting with, you know, he had a ball of water. I was running with actually just, I'm just having such a, a little bag, you know, just uh, around my body so that I can put my, uh, my headphones in and also my phone because I'm not gonna just hold it while I'm fucking working out or while I'm just running around. It is not nice. It's not the best thing, especially if you do not have any pockets. But he said, like, yo, do, do you want to drink something? And I said, no, bro, it's fine, thank you. I think I'm gonna hit this person up and be like, thanks very much, you know, because you've been just pretty fucking nice to me, even though he doesn't know me that well. I know him a little bit just because I think just uh, a few years ago he was actually in the same exact school as I was. Now he is again, which is the funny thing. But I think I'm gonna hit him up. And I'm gonna hit, and hit them up and just tell him, okay, it was, by the way, just pretty fucking nice that you asked me to, to have some water of yours. Like, just out of fucking nowhere. Just really fucking nice. I guess I'm gonna do this, you know. Even though, you know, I've been thinking about doing this, actually. And then I thought, like, or is it actually only because then I'm gonna feel good again? You know? Is it actually just because of that? Is, it just, is this just a pretty selfish act? Am I gonna fuck him up, fuck him up or just... Am I gonna just, I don't know if it is actually the best thing for the situation. You know, for me, it might be a good thing, but it doesn't mean that I should also be doing it. Like being selfish and just doing shit because it might be good for you is not always the exact, the exactly the best thing you can be doing. The thing is, would it just be also great for him? And it would just put him into a position where he is like, okay, I'm going to do this way more often because this person liked it. And this person just said like, well, it is great because it is great that you did it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is just really fucked up, I have to say, you know. But something that I've learned from that is that I'm not going to be just an asshole or not going to be just choking around, I guess. I think I'm not going to be choking around in the next time. 
I could also treat it like this, you know. And as, as I'm thinking about it right now, as just having or just having made a mistake, or just I failed a little bit, or I cl I clearly failed. Like I failed, but this is okay, you know. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna fail the next time as well, and it doesn't need it doesn't mean that it's gonna stay the exact same way. I'm gonna meet these people again. I'm gonna meet them, you know. And I'm gonna be nice to them. And when I'm nice, when I'm not nice to them the next time, I'm gonna be nice the next time. Because I think about this exact situation when I'm sitting here, or when I was sitting here just talking to you guys, or to you people, I'm not gonna say guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here just not dwelling around, but, but talking about what I'm thinking at the time. And I guess then the next time it's gonna be the time where I'm gonna be a fucking nice person. But I can't stare into the fucking... I can't stare into the fucking light. <laughs> oh my god. Is it is it okay to not have a light? It just makes it so, so much better. Just makes it so much fucking better. You know, I normally have it in such a bag. You know, it is... What the fuck is happening? I'm normally just having it in a fucking plastic bag. Which is just doing fine, but it has to be a white one. Because if you do not have a white one, you know, of course, it's gonna have just a color. I could also do it like this. I think this is also fine. This is fine as well. Even though it might not be the best thing because shadows are kind of weird now. But yeah, I'm not gonna dwell around about this. I'm not gonna talk about this shit. Um, yeah, I don't know what I should be doing. But I guess it will be the thing that I will be doing. I assume, I think, maybe, I don't know, I really do not know, this is the thing, and I don't know what's the best thing, like, it is always a little debate, a little debate in my head, what actually is the best thing, and what is the easy thing, um, I often think about it, I often actually do not give a fuck about my own rules, you know, if you're gonna call them like that, and um, my rule clearly is just doing, doing the right thing, and not doing the easy thing, because often it is the case, like, it rarely is the case that the right thing is also the easy thing. You know, sometimes it is, I'm not gonna lie, it's just gonna be the thing. But often it is like, well, you know, the easy thing is not gonna be the right thing. And I'm just trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to do it, you know. I'm just often not doing it, I'm just often thinking about it. Like, I do just really have to do the right thing now. And then I'm thinking like, well, yeah, or just gonna drop it it's not the exact same mindset you should have it's not the, sex, the the way you should be thinking about those things i think you should always be doing the right thing and maybe this is the right thing maybe you should also apologize or apologize but i don't know i don't know you know i'm gonna meet these people i'm gonna see them um but i think i'm gonna hit them up just because it is really like okay if you tell people okay it was fucking nice that you did this and that I think they're gonna do it more often. I think they're actually gonna do it more often. And there, at least at my point of view, you can see how much, you know, uh, how much you actually somehow can change the people around you. To some degree. Like, okay, I'm hitting him up, telling him, okay, it was fucking nice that you just offered me the fucking bottle of water just because I had nothing and you saw it, you know? It was fucking nice, and I was just, well, not the nicest one. I was still was choking around, like, I think you, you were able to clearly see that, but something that really fucks with me right now, to be really fucking honest. But yeah, maybe it shouldn't fuck me. Maybe it really shouldn't, but it still fucks me. I don't know why. One simple technique for embracing the suck of any painful situation is to change your state by immediately focusing on something else that is positive. And then smiling or even loving. As I was just sitting here, just talking about what I'm pissed about. Well, not pissed, but I'm fucked by. Um, I was like, well, you know, is this episode even good? You know, is this a good episode whatsoever? I don't actually know if it is a good one. You know, the next ones just, you know, in the next ones, I'm going to, to try to be even better with the whole speaking part. With uh, not saying am or some shit like this quite too often. But yeah, maybe also being just a little bit more energetic because often actually when I'm just going through my own videos to, to cut out certain parts of it to, to also distribute it on social media, I'm like, why the fucking hell am I not laughing? Am I not laughing? Why am, why am I so fucking boring in the videos? Like sometimes it's actually insane. 
like to actually see myself like being so kind of I don't know maybe it is even like well I'm I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty tough to myself I'm pretty like perfectionistic which should not be the case but yeah I think this is gonna be the end of the episode this is gonna be the end of the episode yeah um I wish you the best health, health, happiness, and also success. And I also hope that you're going to remind yourself on how you gonna be remembered. You know, your legacy. You know, how people are gonna think about you, talk about you on your fucking funeral. Um, because we totally have it in our control. We can always be nice if we choose to. You know, if you think about it, if we don't forget it, we can always be. The thing is, yeah, we actually have to not forget it <laughs> we have to remind ourselves but we have it in our control even though we can't make everyone like us you know it is just not what happens you know just not what we can do and everyone's gonna like me and everyone's gonna love me but everyone's gonna just be a friend of mine it is just what it is but um stay positive stay patient i always try or i also try to stay patient because like yeah I'm working every single day. I haven't seen a lot of just getting back from it. But I think I will in the near future or maybe even just in the future just. But yeah, I see you the next time. I love you and thank you very much for listening and watching. And I see you the next time. I've said that already three times. I see you. (laughs)